I know you've been keeping an eye on this system for the last several days. Yeah. It's been kind of tricky to figure out what exactly it's going to do. It has been a nightmare. Just, <laughs> okay. I mean, just straight up putting it out there. This has been a nightmare for every meteorologist uh, all over because it's so hard to pinpoint mm. exactly who will see what because 10 miles can make all the difference. Uh, but I think we've got a decent handle on it. Everybody will see a little bit of something with mm -hmm. this. And we want to see your pictures, of course, as well as they start to roll in. So just a reminder, you can always email my five at newschannel 5com or tag me on social media. It's Henry Rothenberg on all platforms and I'm doing double duty today, so I'll be here later tonight uh, with the forecast. If you get some of these snowflakes to start falling earlier, would love to see that. Also a good idea to download that free Storm Shield app. You know it's great for severe weather, but it's great in winter weather because it's got a radar on it. It can let you know where the snow is in relation to your location. So great tool to have right there in the palm of your hand, not only for severe weather, but winter weather as well. Tonight, a winter storm watch will go in effect. Goes all the way through tomorrow. All of Middle Tennessee in it, along with in Kentucky, Clinton, Cumberland, Monroe, Barron, and Allen counties. Uh, could see a few more counties thrown in to that as well. Wouldn't be too shocked, but uh, it is something we're keeping an eye on. 37 right now in Music City. Northeast wind at about 8 miles per hour. Let's take a look at our Skynet site in Dixon, where it's 37 degrees at this hour. Looking along Broadway from our Acme feed and seed camera. Our Amelia Young down there somewhere right now. We'll hear from her later on this morning. 37 degrees from our Skynet site on Acme Feed and Seed. And in Columbia, we are at 41. Freezing in Crossville, 29 in Lafayette. Everybody else above freezing, though. Temperatures are relevant this morning because the moisture is here. We've got rain. Some folks may have a sleep pellet or two mixing in, maybe even a fat, wet snowflake. But this is predominantly rain this morning with a bit of a wintry mix that becomes rain throughout the day. The cold air that's all snow, that's still to our north. That will become something uh, that we'll watch closely heading into tonight and tomorrow. That's when our Storm 5 alert really ramps up and then going into tomorrow as well. So again, continuing with that cold rain throughout the day, a wintry mix at times, but I want to take you towards news time. We'll start to see likely heading from then towards midnight, that transition to a mix becoming all snow between 4 and 7 a.m and heavy snow at times through the day on Sunday. So what are we looking at totals? Well, rain wise, because we'll get that first, anywhere maybe a tenth of an inch to close to an inch of rain. And then snow totals, I think the models are pretty consistent on this now, liking what this one's showing about four to six inches on average with isolated spots getting more than that. And some spots, say back towards Northwest Tennessee, getting less than that. Either way, this looks to be a pretty uh, impactful event across the Mid-South. Storm 5 alert tonight, tomorrow, MLK Day. A few flurries are possible, but it's going to be cold and the snow's not doing a lot of melting, so that could lead to some postponements or uh, cancellations of some of the MLK Day uh, festivities, so we'll need to watch that as well. We're back to the 40s Tuesday and Wednesday, Jennifer, but then another cold front. That knocks those temperatures back to some chilly numbers in the upper 30s for highs and lows in the teens to end the week.